Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to replace the idler pulleys on this Fisher & Paykel top load dryer. We'll need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. When the idler pulleys fail, they can cause the dryer to squeak or make noise. They can also cause the dryer belt to wear prematurely. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the dryer. Additionally, you'll be working around sharp metal edges, so proceed with caution. The first thing that we'll do is we'll open up the lid of the dryer and we'll lift it straight up to remove it and we'll set it aside. With the lid removed, we'll now remove the two screw covers and the two screws. Ours is missing the screw cover on the other side. Now with the two screws removed, we can lift up the top cover and disconnect this electrical plug and remove the wire from the retainer. With the wire disconnected, we can now depress the locking tabs and push these through the cabinet of the dryer. You can now lift off the top cover and set it aside. Next, we'll remove the front panel of the dryer. To do this, start by removing the two Phillips screws on the front. With the screws removed, you can now pull out and forward to release the front panel. Tilt the front panel towards you, then rotate it out to access the ground wire and pull it off to remove it. We can now set the front panel aside. The motor control module is located in the bottom left corner. We'll want to start by removing the top cover. To do that, depress this locking tab, lift up, and then pull it forward to remove. Now follow this wire and disconnect the electrical plug. Then disconnect the brown one next to it, followed by the two ground wires at the bottom. With everything free, we can now rotate the drum and chassis assembly outside of the cabin of the dryer. Grab the sides while pulling towards you. Continue to lower the drum and chassis assembly down while making sure that it's not getting caught on anything on the inside of the cabinet. With the drum and chassis assembly now sitting on the floor, we'll now need to lift up on it and pull it out of the cabinet. With the two pieces separated, we'll now set the cabinet aside so we can work on the drum and chassis assembly. With the drum and chassis assembly removed from the dryer, the first thing that we'll do is remove the idler pulley. To remove the idler pulley, insert a flat blade screwdriver into this slot. We need to remove some of the tension off of it so we can lift it up. And over this bracket, then we'll do the same thing with the bottom side, you push up and lift it out of the bracket. And remove the idler pulley from the dryer. With the idler pulley assembly removed from the dryer, you can now remove the pulleys by pulling them up and out to remove. If you have a bad pulley and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on the dryer to make sure you get the correct parts. The pulleys come as a set of two, so you'll need to replace both at the same time. The other pulley has a pin going through the middle and then a washer followed by the pulley and then on the other side, another washer. When installing the other pulley, take the square end and insert it into the notch. Push down until it snaps in place. Do the same thing with the other side. Now take the spring and insert it here. And it's ready to go back into the dryer. Before installing the idler pulleys, first make sure your belt is aligned on the drum and on the shaft on the motor. What we'll be doing is aligning this notch on the bracket on both sides. Make sure that the spring and the pin 
are aligned and slightly compress it. Hook the bracket on the bottom first. With the bottom of the bracket locked in place, we can now push the top while compressing the spring until it locks back in place. Now we can install the drum and chassis assembly back into the cabinet, align this circular notch with the circular pieces on the bottom, lift and set in place. Then lift up and rotate back in place. Next, reconnect the two electrical plugs. followed by the two ground wires, followed by the cover. Now reinstall the front panel by first installing the ground wire. Align these two notches with the two notches here. Use your foot to hold the bottom of the panel in place while bending out the top edges. Align the notches on the panel while pushing till it locks in place. Followed by the two mounting screws. Now reinstall the top cover by inserting the two tabs through the openings, pulling on them to snap them in place. Then reinstall the electrical plug, then reinsert it back into the retainer. Now lower the top cover back down and align the edges while pushing down. Then reinstall the two screws, followed by the screw covers. With everything put back together, test the dryer out to make sure that everything's functioning properly. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing. Also, check out these videos here to learn more about fixing appliances.